If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small donation every month via patreon.com slash phillytech.org. That's p-o-t-r-e-o-n com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. Thanks in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, aweber.com, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Interview Show. I'm Seth, and I'm here with the famous Sarah Hill. You I wouldn't many, say you famous. Might, oh, you're famous, Seth, in the Google Plus land. Many people know Sarah from her well, KO, KOMU days, correct? Correct, and absolutely. You got the call letters right. Good for you. Yeah, yeah when, you, when, we, when we first met, Sarah was um, trying out Google Plus Hangouts on air and without on on air functionality in the newsroom. So we would, a lot, bunch of us would all gather and join the show during the live broadcast. So it's pretty it's pretty fun. Now she's at Veterans United. What is Veterans United? Veterans United is actually a home loan company. It's it's a mortgage business and they do VA loans for our veterans. So a very important mission in trying to educate veterans that they have a VA benefit and try to ensure that more of our military service members who are coming back from overseas are able to properly transition um, into a home of their own. So really a neat um, company, a neat organization and that they help veterans achieve their dream of home ownership. I also do work for the Veterans United um, Foundation here and and uh, they give grants to veterans and military families, have, have given away about $10 million since their wow. inception just a few years ago. Yeah, and I get to tell, um, tell stories about those veterans and military families, so it's a great gig. Plus, yes, um, experiment plans. with glass and hangouts and human media and, and sea commerce and um, all of those exciting uh, digital tools that are out there. Awesome. Do you use, um, have you tried out Android Wear yet? I, I have not. No, I have I'm not. I'm shocked. I know. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, but I've had my hands in, in some other things, and I have yet to try Android Wear. So what's your thought of, on it? I have think it's it? I have, you know, it's different from Google Glass, so I'm not really sure about that. But it's, it's definitely a neat little gadget, to say the least. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and our uh, work pr here primarily has been with Glass. Um, that was mm -hmm. my first experience uh, with, a, with a wearable computer as a Glass Explorer, and so we used it in a variety of ways. Uh, we used it for virtual tours for veterans. Um, yeah, we so take term really cool. terminally ill and aging veterans uh, to see their memorials in Washington, D.C., the 9-11 memorial. We even took a veteran back to the beaches of Normandy, France. So Glass oh, wow. allowed us, um, yeah, I was at the World War II Memorial wearing glass, and I was able to walk through the memorial as if I was the arms and legs of that veteran. Um, and that was before Hangouts was pulled from glass, but uh, we used it as an assisted assistive device, if you will, um, to enable that veteran to, to um, simulate that physical experience of touching um, their memorial and, and walking through it. Um, so That's Hero amazing. Tours have been going on for um, about a year and a half. Um, as an alternative to some of the physical honor flights that are happening to Washington, D.C. And then we are also using glass um, with real estate agents. So we have a couple of our real estate experts uh, right now in a, in a conference in New York, um, and they are showing agents about glass, how to use it. And we've, we, we did a story not too long ago about how agents might be able to use glass as a, as a virtual tour um, to the military home buyer or to anyone else to physically walk someone through a property and be the arms and legs of that of that buyer. Now, what's your thought on them on Google? Them being Google, um, canceling not canceling, but um, redirecting Google Glass. 
Yeah, it depends on whom you read, right? Uh, on whether or not you know glass is dead or if it's it's just been been changed. And in my opinion, um, this is just um, a new layer of glass, and that they moved out of the Google X labs and are going to a new location where they can then run, right? Where they can then uh, develop a new version of glass. So I'm anxious to see what they come up with. I sure hope. Um, that the explorers have access to that that next version. Uh, you know, first there was um, uh, one version of the Model T, and then there was the next version of the Model T. Mm -hmm. And Glass Absolutely. is the Model T of, of wearable computers, right? There's going to yeah. be future future um, versions of it. My Glass actually right now is in New York uh, with one of our our colleagues, Monica Barbie. She's using it with some real estate agents, so I don't have it um, to show you, but. Uh, Google will still support those Explorer editions, and we are still using them um, regardless of whether they're making them again. Um, it's only the device that they're not making. They're still supporting it, and we're excited to hear well, about what the new version will look like um, and to get our hands on that. Hopefully, we'll be able to trade in our old Explorers um, for whatever for new, new, new device. Yeah. So what's your background? I mean, obviously, you're a journalist, and um, how would you get into journalism in the, in the beginning? Uh, I was always been a naturally curious person and when I was going through college I took a radio job to try to help earn my way through school and I worked at an NPR affiliate uh, in Springfield Missouri called KSMU radio and my job was to cover the city uh, and county beat and, and politics and I got bit by the journalism bug there mm -hmm. and then you so when you got out of college what was your first gig did you get to go oh, out to didn't the have a journalism Alaska? program so they didn't yeah, no, not in Alaska. I had to well, I had to go to to, to Columbia, Missouri. Uh, Columbia, Missouri has the Missouri School of Journalism, which is world renowned, uh, mm -hmm. one of the best journalism schools in the world. Um, of course, I'm not biased in in, in, in any way with that. But um, so I studied journalism there, and I got a job at the the state capitol the capital city of Missouri at um, KRCG TV. It was a CBS affiliate in Jefferson City, Missouri. I worked there for a decade and then came back uh, to Columbia to work um, at the NBC affiliate here at KOMU TV and also had a teaching assignment at the Missouri School of Journalism um, for about a decade. Uh huh. And then I, I, I came here uh, about two and a half years ago um, and have been enjoying telling stories about veterans and military families, using new technology to see how we can um, develop deeper relationships with people beyond just chatting with their avatars. And that's what I think is is really unique about Hangouts, um, about all these other WebRTC products. And we can talk about that if, if you want a little yeah, bit about, about WebRTC yeah. um, that are coming out. You know, the thing, unique thing about Hangouts is, is that uh, provides face-to-face -face interaction within the realm of a crowdsourcing tool. And what that's really enabling for us, Seth, is something called C-commerce. And it's the ability to finally, at long last, look in the whites of your eyes of your customers, of your online customers. So it's turning traditional e-commerce sites into C-commerce sites. And we all know that eye contact increases brand trust. Um, a study by Cornell University shows that it increased brand trust by 16%. It reduces hostility hostilities online and, and it increases the likelihood that you want to do business uh, with another another person. So eye contact is huge and businesses really need to pay, pay attention to it because of a new piece of technology that just came out called WebRTC. WebRTC stands for Web Real-Time Communication and what it is is it allows in-browser based video calling. So no longer do I have to have Hangouts or Skype or FaceTime or anything like that on my mobile phone or my computer browser, I can make a phone call right within my browser. And there are a few of them that are enabled right now. Chrome is enabled. Um, uh, Firefox is enabled. And I think, I'm not sure what the, what the third one is, but they're going to be rolled out to all, all browsers pretty soon. It's, it enables one-click video calls. AT&T just recently signed up on board with WebRTC, which means what? Which means when you make a, vi uh, a phone call now, you will be prompted as a consumer whether or not you want that phone call to be video or voice. That's so cool. Brands need to pay attention to that because if you don't have the workflow in place, if this isn't even on your radar, how are you as a brand supposed to answer the video phone? There are brands out there right now where you can video call them and all you see is a black screen. And uh -oh. you know, this this is coming, so you know you really need to um, think about you know getting that 
a fifty sixty dollar webcam to enable you to to look in the whites of your eyes or customers there are some forward-thinking businesses like Amazon out there what they've been doing with the Kindle fire and the mayday button that allows yeah, so you cool. immediately yeah. face-to-face customer service um, uh, we need to pay attention to that because as an e-commerce site you, it's so easy with a $50 webcam and WebRTC with one click video calling to make yourself a C-commerce site. There are lots of um, other sites out there like appear.n that's appear, A-P-P-E-A-R dot N, which enables you to create your own um, personal chat room and have it open. People can actually knock on your door when they want to enter, come in and do business with you. It does not require anything for you to have that room at all. No plug-in to download or anything like that. And I would encourage um, uh, people out there to go there and grab your chat room. Matter of fact, mine, appear.in slash Sarah is already taken, so don't take that one. Um, but if you would ever want to have a video conversation with me, you could go to appear.in slash Sarah. I would get a notification, and I could come in and chat with you. Um, and appear dot in. Appear dot in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Appear in. I got it. Yeah, and That's and so, so cool. you know businesses, <laughs> you know the, their their virtual space is now um, a, an eye to eye virtual space, and everybody has the ability to 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 create this. It's it's free. So as businesses, we really need to to be paying attention to that. I call it human media. It's not just text based social media anymore. We're not hiding behind our avatars. We're having living, breathing conversations with individuals, um, and those interactions are much more human. It's awesome. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it really shows how you know with the the web we had before, where it was all text based, and you know, even these chat rooms, you know, IRC, they just go by really fast. Now you have a lot more human interaction. It's it's, it's amazing. I so can sure read your body helpful. language. Yeah, as journalists too. Yeah, I can read your body language. I can take you immediately to the site of a breaking news event. Uh, directly from my point of view. So with Glass right now, there are live streaming capabilities, even though Hangouts um, were, were pulled. But you can stream hands-free from your face. You can uh, walk, hands walk through. Hands-free from your face. Yeah, and you can walk through a breaking news event and have the ability to show your viewers who are watching that stream directly from your point of view. You can run. Um, you know, you can use your hands to open doors, uh, to pick up things and show people. It's really liberating live reporters um, and the ability to take viewers to a unique place where they've yes. never had the ability to go before. Wow. I mean, it's, it's incredible, the future. And I mean, you're in the forefront of it right now, and you, you have yourself a position that lets you do it. We all are in the forefront, right? Because all of these tools are free. Um, they're not just accessible to me. They're, they're accessible to everyone. Um, that's what's really unique um, is that the barrier to entry for all these tools is going down and down. And as the design gets better, as people have the ability to navigate um, early beta designs better, it's, we're going to see our bag phones go to a, a smartphone. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to see our, our, our Model T's become that Ford Explorer that has heated seats and windshield wipers. Um, so what we're seeing now with wearables and, and hands-free live streaming is just the beginning. That's why it's so exciting. That's great. So Sarah, where can people find you if they want to communicate with you? Obviously on Google+. Plus. Yeah, um, reach out to me on, on Google+, Plus, google.com slash plus Sarah Hill. I'm also on Twitter at Sarah Midmo, and that's Midmo. Sarah, Sarah with an H, S-A-R-A-H-M-I-D-M-O. I'd love to hear about how you are using video chat, how you are, are trying to make your e-commerce site a c-commerce site. We're all learning here, and I, I appreciate those use cases. Yes, absolutely. And, um, and where can they find more about Veterans United? Veterans United, you can see our video stories at vu.com slash inside. vu.com slash inside. And nice that's small URL too. Yeah, and you'll see all of our um, all of our videos there that we do about our, our home loan side, about the foundation side, also about Veterans United Realty as well. They are there are many layers here that are high, trying to help veterans and military families, and that is one video resource uh, where you can check out some of the things that we're doing. And